Hi everyone. After a large number of questions I received over Big IP Health Monitors, I wanted to take a minute and go over the two basic that I two basic health monitors I see most common in the field. Um, so real quick for demo purposes, I have an IS virtual server. I have an IAS pool. Now the pool is currently assigned the TCP, the default TCP health monitor. And we'll look at our members and we have a single uh, single pool member. Now let's go to the command line and let's actually do a TCP dump to see what this is doing. So you'll notice the only thing that is going between the big IP self IP and the pool member itself is a, um, is a three-way handshake. Now this is great for validating if a service is available on an on the application server itself. However, it doesn't provide any validation that your application server is truly available and providing content um, as you would expect. So we'll stop that and let's go ahead and go back to TMUI and let's look at another common health monitor that's being used today. We'll look at the default HTTPS monitor. Now you'll notice the send string here is a simple HTTP GET and then you'll notice there's no receive string. So this will validate that the HTTP web server itself is listening but the issue with this is that any response is a valid response. So it's really not providing much valid validity that your web application is up. So now let's go back to our monitors and let's take a look at a monitor that I've created. So in here you'll notice an actual uh, full send string and you'll notice my receive string here. Now more commonly within the receive string you will notice something like this. You'll notice a 200 OK which is basic a basic HTTP status code. Or if you want to get more granular, you can actually do uh, look further into the web page um, and look for a string within the page to determine applications up or not. There are so also additional monitors that can use external monitors in which you can run bash scripts against your web application. But for now, uh, the basics is really what I'm trying to get to. So if we want to validate 200 OK, we can just go ahead and update that and we can go back to our pool assign the website monitor and you'll notice the the availability is now green now this simply means that the big IP is receiving a 200 OK back from the application server so how I was able to determine that was utilizing a tool from the command line called curl which many of you are probably familiar with and for that let's go ahead and run a quick uh, this is an example um, I'm using the dash K to ignore any certificate errors on my experience and you'll notice an entire page is returned so here we can actually gather individual we can gather content and identify a receive string that the developer, the website developer may want to use to determine the applications up. Or more commonly we'll simply use the uh, headers themselves. So maybe something within the application the response headers to determine. So here are your number you'll notice I do a simple uh, curl for headers and you'll see my HTTP response here. And this is how I was able to provide 200 OK within the receive string to determine the applications up. So let's go back to TMUI. But before we do that, we're going to go ahead and copy welcome files. So we have a string now within the content of that page. And we're going to modify our receive string to reflect that. So instead of 200 OK, we are going to use welcome files and now let's go back to our pool and we're still assigned the same monitor just modify the receive string and you'll notice that our pool member is still available 
So as a recap, I utilize a TCP monitor here to validate if service is up, but it is not recommended to, recommended to use on its own. It's not going to provide a, a ton of value um, to determine if an application is truly available, uh, but it will determine if a service is available. So going beyond the basic default TCP monitor, uh, we looked at the HTTPS monitor, which again only does a basic HTTP GET, but does not validate any return string or any receive string as defined in the H in the monitors itself. So then we actually created our own health monitor based on the HTTPS parent monitor and we utilized a send string and a receive string to determine if our application is up or down. Now there are other methods to determine this. Um, some may say there's better methods but I can say this is probably the most uh, commonly used in the field to truly provide um, uh, an idea if the application server is up or down. Well, that's the all I had. Uh, I hope this was helpful to somebody. Uh, until next time.